Today's lesson will focus on quartiles from the broad general education. To further analyse data, we inspect what are known as quartiles. To work with quartiles, we split our data in four sections. Quartile 2, Q2, is the median of the data set. Quartile 1, Q1, is the median of the lower half, whilst quartile 3, Q3, is the median of the upper half. We take a data set as a whole. We then split this into two. Each section is then split into a further two to give us our quartiles. We should always see symmetry in our data set. Example one, find the quartiles of the data set. Our first example asks us to find the quartiles of the data set. The first thing we must always check is that our data is in order. From there, the first thing that we should look to find is the median, i.e. quartile 2. To find the median, that is the middle term, so therefore we count up our data. Here, you should see that we have 9 pieces of data. If we have 9, it gives us 4.5 which means we should have four pieces of data on either side. One, two, three, four. And what we'll do is we'll hold this term. One, two, three, four. So you should see that we have four pieces of data on either side of the median, which we now can call this Q2. From there, we examine the lower half and we find the median of the lower half. We have four pieces of data. If we split that in two, it means there should be two terms on either side of the median. One, two. Let's put an arrow here. One, two. Two terms on either side of the median of the lower half. The median of the lower half we will call Q1, quartile 1. Now, as previously mentioned, there is always going to be an element of symmetry with your quartiles. So in the upper half, that should be the same as the lower half. So we can place our arrow here and this will be Q3. Listing them, we now have Q1. That's in between 4 and 4, which will simply just be 4. Q2 is the number 7. Q3 is in between 9 and 10, which is 9.5. To find the interquartile range, IQR, we use IQR equals Q3 subtract Q1. To find the semi interquartile range, SIQR, we use SIQR equals Q3 subtract Q1 all divided by 2. Example 2. Part A. Find the quartiles of the data set. Part B. Find the semi interquartile range. In example 2, we are asked to find the quartiles of the data set. From the board, you should see that I have placed the data in order to allow me to find my quartiles. As with the previous example, the first thing we must find is the median quartile 2. We have 11 pieces of data in our data set. A half of 11 is 5.5, which means we should have five terms on either side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's hold this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which makes this quartile 2. We now examine the lower half, and once again, we have to find the median of the lower half, which will be Q1. On the lower half, we have five terms. If we have that, that gives me 2.5, so that means there should be two terms on either side. One, two, hold, one, two. This will now become quartile one. 
Again, we must look for symmetry. So therefore, we've come two in from the start. We can come two in from the end. Hold that. And that will give us Q3. You should now see that you've got an element of symmetry to allow us to get our quartiles. Therefore, Q1 will be 11. Q2, 17. Q3 is 20. In part B, we were asked for the semi interquartile range. S I Q R is equal to Q3 subtract Q1 all divided by 2. Now, this is a formula that we must learn. Using our data from the quartiles, we substitute in 20 subtract 11 all divided by 2. Simplifying down, 20 subtract 11 leaves me 9 over 2 or 4.5.